Your book is everywhere. It chronicles my own journey trying to conceive through a series of essays. A journey that you say a lot of black women are suffering in silence. Your book is called Black Girl's Guide to Fertility. But are you even black? Sir, that's enough. My husband and I have been trying for a while. I often feel alone because he has a daughter from a previous relationship. Sometimes I feel jealous. Do you ever feel the same way about your stepson? That's my grandmother. She was the first person I ever heard talk about infertility. The doctor said I would never have any kids. You've never experienced what I'm going through. Until you've had a uterus and no kids, you won't. I want this just as bad as you do. I'll be praying for you too. Those are just things black folks don't talk about. We can't keep masquerading our feelings. <laughs> You still have to take the mask off, and once you do, that's when the real story begins. I just want to help black women who are suffering from infertility. I am a woman. <laughs>